What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Scarfinger, and this is Scarcasm. Woohoo! Um, Chase is not feeling very well today, so I'm just going to pretty much do all of the talking today. Um, Chase is just going to be here to back me up. Say back. hello to the people. Say hello to the people, Chase. I'm back up. Okay, so let me tell you what happened to me yesterday. So I go to the vape shop yesterday because I have gotten on to some new stuff. Now, I've tried a bunch of new juices and a bunch that I would like to talk about. Um, and like, I just don't know how to actually really do it. Um, and I bought new stuff. Like, um, I bought a new tank. Um, this is a mesh pro. Um, and I like it except for that I hate it. Um, all at the same time. <laughs> you like it except that you hate it. <laughs> yes. I like it because it does what it's supposed to do. And it works very well. But here's the thing. The, the, the is the most, they specialize in mesh coils and they have a uh, double, triple. Well, they have single, double, triple and quadruple mesh coils. Uh huh. I have tried, I have tried the one, twos and threes, but for the twos and the threes, they have these extra little holes on the side for juice to go through so it can get closer to the middle. Mm hmm. And I have learned, and like these things are not the is is like tw- towards the middle as far as like in like the the tank part. Um, I've learned that once the juice gets to where that hole is, if it goes any time below there, the top of your coil starts burning. And it's like, bro, I've only used half a tank, and like I gotta go, I gotta refill this thing up from half. Like if I want to change. If I want to change flavors and stuff like that, I basically have to refill it with um, a different juice, but like deal with a combination for like a whole tank until this shit runs through. And then I can taste the flavor that I just put in, which is like a real pain in the ass. But um, so I've been vaping um, this stuff, uh, the, the twist line. And so I went to the store to buy some, uh, to buy some more of the the iced pink um is like an iced pink lemonade which is really good um because if i order it online they only have it in a three and i want i would really like it in a six i mean this is like for the the people who don't vape this is like way too much and i don't really want to uh i don't really want to explain but this is going to be a quick story so i went and i saw um that they had the stay salty juices Stay salty is salt nick, but made in a quantity that you can put in a regular tank. Huh. So what's the, I, what's the point in that though? In the point um, of the salt nick is to have it like super powerful. Well, the point of the salt nick is well, most most of the most of it was for the like the pod devices where you got less vapor so that means you were you were still trying to compensate for the amount of vapor for the nicotine hit okay but like but like here's the thing when you have these that are mostly uh the, these as most these go to is like six because once you get your ratios out of like you know 70 30 or whatever like that you start you can't do the nick higher than that well this because of the salt i could get this in a 12 so I went through to uh, talk to the guy about it. And, um, and I was talking about my coworkers, like almost all of my um, coworkers uh, the, in the office staff right now. Um, they all, uh, I, I got almost everybody that smoked is, is vaping now <laughs> at, at least part, at least part time. They're all vaping now. Um, and um, so I, um, so I wanted something with a little bit more kick to it. Uh, I gave my coworker some juice. He vapes at three. I gave him some of my six and I forgot that he's a three and he gave it to he, I went to lunch and came back. He gave that shit back to me. He was like, yeah, this shit made me loopy as fuck. Um, uh, so, but I wanted something, I wanted something stronger, but I said, you know, I got to be careful with this. I can't really put this in the mesh pro because I'm going to end up, you know, the amount that I vape is going to make me loopy because I was thinking about what happened to my coworker. Um, because I vape at six, that's a 12. Well, the guy told me 
the guy in the vape store, I don't know whether he was trying to do the whole hero thing where, you know, like you try to make yourself seem better than everyone else. This dude told me he vapes 50. The salt nick that's supposed to be for the pod devices because you get less from it. Yeah. Yeah. He said he uses that in his, he said he drips it. He drips 50. Nick. I'm sitting there worried about this fucking 12 and he said he drips 50. Which is crazy. It's, it does fucking bonkers. Like, absolutely fucking bonkers. But that shit happened to me yesterday, and I didn't know whether he was trying to do the hero thing or whether he really did do that shit, but it was just absolutely like, what the fuck? And I noticed that since that shop has started selling um, CBD, um, they already had like stuff that you could buy in there, like bongs and stuff like that. But once they started selling CBD, that place is never empty like it used to be <laughs> like never that place is always packed there's always a bunch of people in there every because i used to go in and i was like the only person in there when i went in and now it's there's always people in there and i think maybe that's a good thing like i think that's a cool fucking thing like maybe the cbd is like, like helping their business but cbd is fucking expensive i want to try it but it's really fucking expensive yeah but yeah, so that that was like, yeah, this dude told me he dripped 50, which is fucking crazy. But yeah, other um so how's your week been, bro? It's been all right. We just been <clears throat> kind of doing a thing. We um we found out my uh, son had been watching porn, man. Fuck yeah, man. <laughs> Did you did you like did you like outwardly scold him but then inside you're like fuck yeah son like did you do that like did, I, did you have that moment <laughs> no because Amber was like really messed up about it because he's only like ten <laughs> and he has autism so he's really like mentally like five so we don't know what if he's even processing what's going on or whatever but it was like Teen Titans go. My man, see some Raven action. You know what I'm saying? That Raven. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know shit about uh, Teen Titans. I know that one one of the ladies is named Raven. That's all I. Know. That's all I really. Know. But all like, right. you know what? But this this happened to me a couple years ago. I um, I was using my um, I was using my iPad because I was thinking I was um. The the the, th- the theme song for uh, Satisfaction came in my head, and I didn't have my phone near me. It was on the charger, and I had my iPad near me. For some so reason, I, I thought you were about uh, to say the theme song to Sanford and Son. No. <laughs> um, Satisfaction, Satisfaction is a, a show, I think it's from New Zealand. It's, it's from Australia or New Zealand, <clears> uh, <throat> and it's about like, no one's on in a whorehouse. Uh, but I had the theme song stuck in my head. So I pulled up the iPad or whatever and I searched for it and I listened to the theme song, you know, wasn't nothing, you know, like I had the song in my head and I wanted to hear it real quick because usually for me, if I got a song stuck in my head, it doesn't go away until I hear it. So, and then I, I listened to it. Right. And then I realized that I don't use my iPad very much. My daughter does. So I went to her history to delete it, to delete it out of the history. So I went to the history and I saw what she was looking for. She was looking for sex mods for the Sims. Mm -hmm. And so like we went, so I went through and I went through like her search history and stuff like that. And this is also when I found out that like kids who don't know how to spell, they tend to voice search everything and Google records all of that. How do you check that? You got to go to your um your your Google search history. Mm-hmm. If you go to Google and go to your search history, you you can actually play back the sound from that. <laughs> so like so like I was so I went to my daughter and I was like, "Why are you looking this up or whatever like that?" And she was just like, "I didn't." And I was just like, "Yo, I you know I went back and I looked at the search history and I saw that you actually searched for this. Like, it's something that we need to talk about." And she was like, "I didn't search it." And you know, she got all defensive and shit, like my daughter does. She's like super defensive. Nothing is ever her fault. Um, 
So like that's when I found out about the Google the Google thing, and so like I'm talking to her on the phone, and like I play her back her voice asking for these things and i was like is that your voice because last time i checked that's your voice she was like that's not me that doesn't sound like me at all like she just like deny 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 but um apparently (laughs) apparently a a fifth grader um this was like when she was in like the third grade or something like that um a fifth grader uh was telling them about sex and she was trying to figure it out but like her only access to you know, this type of thing was through the Sims. So she was looking for a mod that would take away the blurriness and actually show her something. Mm -hmm. So that's what it all ended up being. You know, you know, like it's, it's crazy, but like my nephew, uh, was, it went through a thing where, um, God bless him. Um, no, I'm not, Go snitch on my nephew like that, but my nephew went through went through, you know finally got to his the the point where we all get to like this the the fucked up part about it is like we would like we we know about like channel ninety nine you know what I mean like because nothing else like but people my age I don't know about your age but we know about channel ninety nine and we just had to watch the scramble to see if we could catch something you know what I mean like is is the you know it was the porn channel on the cable box but it was but it was scrambled and you just try to figure out like was that a titty like you know like that type of thing um that's all that's the only thing we know until we find like our parents stash which I did um <laughs> but like but like th- 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 it's so easy to find now like as soon as you get a whiff of sex there is nothing that you can't find right now Which, right but then the kids aren't smart enough just to stick to like you know like Pornhub or whatever you know because yeah, the I, thing is the what what triggered it where I was like hey let me see your phone because <laughs> he has a phone that's like an older phone that we used to use that's not like with any like service or anything just Wi-Fi <laughs> for him to watch YouTube and shit and because it was getting a bunch of notifications and this had happened before I thought because he was trying to like do these free games like free sonic games dot biz or whatever and I'm like hey it's probably like giving him spyware or something so I got rid of all that and then it was doing it again to where like there was notifications about credit card stuff and all this <clears throat> so he was going to like different sites that aren't like that safe, you know what I mean? So, um, it was given notifications of that. That's kind of how I saw it. So, but yeah, because the first thing was like the Teen Titans thing, and all I said was like, what you know about Teen Titans? He was like, you mean like Teen Titans Go and stuff? And I'm like, what you know about Teen Titans from yesterday? And he just got up, stormed off, and started like throwing stuff around, punching the wall, and kicking Riley's toys around and stuff. He got really mad. But... So, don't be salty. You got caught, son. Like, come on, man. Like, I'm, I'm, look, bro. I'm on your side right now, but I need you to let me know what's going on. That's kind of what I did with my daughter. Is just like, yo, what? This is what I need you to do. If there's anything that you need to know about this, you need to come to me or your mom, and we, you know, we can actually put this in the proper perspective. Like right now, like there's, you know, there's a lot of things that's going on, and you know, you hidden puberty hormones all that kind of shit going on right now so like you need you need an adult that's gone through this to like kind of like focus you focus your way through this like i don't i don't i didn't want to be that guy though like see i didn't want to be that guy that's just like no you shouldn't do this and blah 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 whatever nah i i I know this this is just something that happens like yeah but that's kind of what we did because it was like you know like we don't want that to be the first but for one you know when we're in school we had like sex ed and stuff you know that where we would have some sort of yeah like, like bro we didn't have real sex ed until ninth grade like these kids are really out here we like, had not- i had i had real sex ed in fifth grade like they really talked about it but um but yeah, Look, the, they gave us, they gave us a, like a little bit here, a little bit there, but we ain't had that real until like ninth grade. So, I know it was pretty real in fifth, what I remember. 
I mean, well, I don't really know because technically I was already fucking in fifth grade. Yeah. Like I didn't know what I was doing, but I was already committing acts of sex at, at you know, at that age. So like it would it be wrong for me to like be mad at my daughter for being interested in it at the same age? That would be that would be real kind of fucked up on my part, and that, you know what? That's a conversation that 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 we're having. Like we can finish this, but like that's a conversation that I'm having. I'm in a fathers, I'm in a black fathers group on um on Facebook, and somebody came up with a thing that said um like do do you ever like apologize to your child if you go off and like you went a little bit too far, like and like most people are just like yeah. And then there's a couple of people that's just like, no, I will never apologize to my child. I don't need to blah, 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 whatever. And I'm just like, bro, like, I'm not my dad. Like, for real? Like, do I, do I really, I'm, do I really want to be my dad right now? And that's how it was with, with, with this whole thing with, with my daughter and trying to figure out what sex was. I had to, I had to really stop myself and go like, am I my dad? Because I got kind of upset about it at first. I was just like, yo, what the fuck's going on here? And then I'm just like, yo, dog, you are really acting like your dad right now. And I need you to, I need you to be you. You know what I mean? And like, you know, come at this from a, from a different perspective because like, you know, like my dad, my dad didn't understand. My dad wouldn't understand this. Like my dad would, doesn't really understand the internet. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, before my dad passed, like he didn't understand the internet that much. Like, you know, he's a, you know, he was an older gentleman, you know what I mean? Like it's, that's not his thing. So like, I understand this. So like, I have to come at it from the perspective of me as opposed to coming at it from like, you know, like my dad's perspective, which would have made everything worse. Mm -hmm. Cause at the end of the day, like my daughter has to trust me like, and she has to trust that she can come to me with this. I'd rather be the one to have to suck it up and explain this shit to my child as opposed to letting someone else explain it. And then and then she ends up pregnant at 15. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, Riley going to end up getting somebody, uh, getting pregnant. If Riley getting somebody pregnant at 15, you know that, right? <laughs> That's what happened. Yo, Ralph, yo, Ralph already got that. You know, he already got that look in his eye. He got that look in his eye. Like, I'm going to be on him. You know what I'm saying? We about to, I'm going I'm to get it in. Like when I get 15, like, like pre 15, pre 15, I'm going to use a condom. Like when I turn 15, it's about, all bets are off. I'm getting I'm somebody getting pregnant around here at 15. <laughs> I don't young know, Riles. man. But uh, my man, Young Ross. Shout out to Young Ross. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I'm, you know what? I take that back. I don't want to curse you with no shit like that. <laughs> I was just joking. That was just a. It was a, a, a. To me, it was a harmless joke. But if it actually happens, that's not a harmless joke at all. <laughs> right. <laughs> Like, so see, like man to man, I apologize for making a joke at your expense. You're fine, man. Well, we um, but but yeah, that was our main thing. It's like so he understands, like what's you know the difference between wrestling in high school and you know professional wrestling. You know, it's mm-hmm. kind of like the same, like the stuff on on there is not really. But see, here's, here's the thing, and I'm about to make another joke at your expense. Okay, okay here, here we go. Don't they say when you have autism, you it, you end up finding something that you're really good at, like you're like super good at. Like my my nephew is like super good at math. Like, what if sex is like the thing he's super good at? Like, you know what I mean? Like, what if like? If but I'm isn't that a part of like social skills, which is? Like, nah, if you, you don't need no social skills if you're acting in a movie. I don't need to be friends with you for me to do this movie. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we don't have to be cool. Like, they ain't even got to show my face. Like, all they got to show, all, all you got to show me stroking. Like, that's all you need. That's all you need. Like, show me stroking. Make sure you get my money shot. If we in there, dog. <laughs> I'm not taking that one back because that was that was that was good. I I, I proud myself on that one. <laughs> okay. I mean, what if, I mean, like I said, like I said, my my whole thing, my whole thing in life when I was younger and didn't understand much about parenting. Um, I said my whole job in life as a parent was to keep my daughter off the pole. 
Like, you know what I mean? Like, for real, like, that's my job is to make sure that she gets an education and she goes to do something with her life that was meaningful and like all of this other stuff. Mm -hmm. But when I got a little bit older, I was just like, yo, if that's what she want to do, then I'll pay for the sewing classes and I'll play, I'll pay for the self-defense classes. I'll pay for her gun registration. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's one thing, uh, you know, dance lessons, like it's real out here. Like if, if my daughter decides she wanted to be on the pole, cool, let's fucking do this shit. And let's be a fucking headliner. Like we not doing this like regular ass, like throw some money at me. No, I need somebody to pay for you to be there. Like for real, like you know what I'm saying. Like I, I'm, I need somebody to, I need somebody to pay for you to even show up to the place, and then like you get your little tips or whatever like that. But you already paid. Like that's the kind of shit that I'm talking about. Okay. And then, and like and like and look, so like I teach you. Look, I get you the sewing classes so you can make your own costumes. You ain't got to worry about nobody to do that. Self defense in case you need it. Your gun registration, gun registration in case you need it. Like these are all things that are beneficial to her if that's the if that's the career she chooses. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I'm I'm tr- I'm trying my hardest not to be my dad. Like for real. Like there is nothing. Uh, I, I just can't. Uh, Nah, I just I just don't want to be my dad. I can't do it. So I mean, I understand on I I understand like on a level like this has got to be some like weird shit to deal with. But you know what? This is some shit that we all go through, right? Yeah. And like, I really wish, you know, I really wish there was something that this is something that I could have came to my dad about. Like, yo, I'm having this issue. You know what I mean? Like. You know, can can you help me understand this? Right. So, I mean, it's it's. I mean, as as long as he, um, you know, I mean, you like at this point, you know your son, and you know how to explain this. Yeah. I just, I just, I just really hope that this doesn't turn out to be like a. a a bigger thing than like, hey, I made this mistake. I went, I went to the end of the internet that I'm not supposed to be in right now. Like maybe, maybe I should dial this back some. Right. But if it's not like, I mean, I'm pretty sure you got it. Like you got to get through like those initial, those initial feelings. Like you got to get your feelings. You you got to get past your feelings in order to make sure that you're not damaging his. You know, yeah. because his are more, his are more important than yours. Right. Is that still Sam? Oh, that was no, you. That was, yeah, that was me. I, see, this is why I turn my volume off. Um, I so, normally do too, but today I just forgot about it. Man, let me tell you. Um, y- you don't you don't really watch the Marvel Netflix shows, do you? Not. I mean, I wanted to, but I just I don't really have much time to watch anything. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I am watching, um, I am watching, uh, Daredevil season three with my girl. I've already watched it and I love watching when the twists happen. I love looking at her for when the twists happen and seeing it on her face. Like that shit just brings me so much joy. Like that whole, I'm just watching. I'm just watching. Oh shit. Did that just happen? And then like, she has this thing now where we kind of, some, some, some fucked up shit will happen. And we just kind of look at each other. And I was just waiting for it on the, uh, there was like a, 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 a kind of a really big twist, um, that just happened in the episode that we just watched. And I just really dig those. I really dig those twists because like I knew the shit was coming and I knew all of the breadcrumbs that's been dropped all season, but like I just waited for the shit to, to actually happen. And it's just like, Oh shit. And then the episode ended and she just kind of looked at me like, did that just happen? Yes. I really dig that shit. That's one thing I dig about watching stuff with my girl because she had not seen pretty much anything. Um, so like a lot of the stuff I'm watching like over for whatever time, what, whatever amount of times. Uh, but she's, it's all new to her. Mm-hmm. So like this is, so sometimes it's really cool, but like the only other, the only times that I don't like it is if we're both watching something for the first time because she pretty much watches like one episode a day. 
and I can't really, I can't really function like that. Like I'll binge watch everything on the weekends. I'll get through, I'll get through a whole season of, of something, multiple seasons sometimes in a in a weekend. Shit, I watched all of the My Hero Academia that's on Hulu. I watched that in about in a week. Right. I I'm really, um, really interested for, for when that comes back. By the way, I think I listen to too much podcasts. You think so? I um. Every now and again, I'm like, "Hey, why don't I listen to just music?" And I'm like, "Well, I got these podcasts to get through this week, or whatever." And then, because if I go here, you can look at playback statistics. Mm-hmm. Every week, I listen to 15 hours and 15 minutes of podcasts. Wow! So last week was 15 hours, and 28 10, in 2018, I listened to 15 or 14 days. In 2019, I've listened to five days so far. Yeah, see, I wish I had the time. Like, it was different for me when I uh, when I primarily worked by myself, and I could just put a podcast on when nothing else was going on. Yeah. Um, but like, because I work in an office now with a bunch of people, like I can't really focus on this stuff like how I used to. And then like, in my case, like the biggest part of my job is answering the phone. So like the moment the phone rings, that shit has to stop. Right. So it's, so it's a, it's a lot more difficult to, to, to listen to the podcast. And then like, you know, like my commute to work. Uh, I listen to a lot during my commutes to work. I, you know, turn the speed up and listen on the commutes, but my commute is eight minutes. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so I don't, I don't really get a lot during those eight minutes. I can't really get that much in in eight minutes, no matter how fast I turn this shit up to. Right. Cause you, most of- I can only get up like 1.5. Like when you get up closer to like two, it's just like too fast. Especially depending on who's talking, right? I can I can do two if the person that I'm that I'm listening to normally talks pretty slow. Yeah, but if they have like if if the person that I'm listening to talks like me, I can't do it at two speed. Like you know what I mean? Like so I can't I can't listen to someone who talks like me at double speed. <clears throat> right. So yeah, it's just it's just a little weird. I you know what you know a show that I can listen to at double speed and it's pretty all right. Um, Angry Mailman, shout out to Angry Mailman, they back. Yep. Um, uh But that's a, that's a show like none of them like really go like are, are like super fast talkers or anything. They're, you know they're pretty they're all laid back southern gentlemen. Um, so they get, it kind of works out at double speed, but it's one of those things. So, do you, um, you want to talk about some things that we've been kind of into this week? I only really have one thing outside of the the Daredevil, which I've already watched and I've already talked about. Uh, um, I played a ton of Div- of, of Division Two, so I've heard. And even so, like I haven't painted much. I haven't, you know, I haven't put up a whole lot of videos. Like I have been out here on those on those Division streets. Like it's just uh, it's just been all about the division right now. Really, dude, you don't want to turn your your your, your ring off just like for now. Well, I I didn't know that it was going to um go crazy, man. Yeah. Um. But um. But yeah, I'm playing just a ton of 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 division. And one thing I will say, it sucks that when we start talking about the Division Two, mm-hmm. we have to start with Anthem was so bad. Thanks, thank goodness for the Division. You know what I mean? Like Anthem was so bad, and like all of these other games, like it's the first game like this. These MMO light games, yeah. Actually launched complete, right? You know what I mean? Like, like, like Destiny didn't do it. The original Division didn't do it. Anthem certainly didn't do it. Like, all of these MMO like games did not launch complete, except this not one. even Division Two, or not even a uh, Destiny Two. 
launch complete. Yeah, but yeah, neither, yeah, neither of the Destinies did. Like, and you would think that Destiny Two was going to be a lot better than it actually ended up being, uh, because they had they they it was one of those situations where they learned a lot from the first game, and then it was just kind of like, I don't know, maybe it was an Activision thing where Activision kind of pushed the game out the door. And it was just like, well, I think that they, they were trying to get those lost people back so they made it a lot more casual which then pissed off the people that actually stood around the Destiny 1 you know so it so they were trying to get back the people that didn't like Destiny 1 but pissed off the people that liked it the way it was you know what I mean yeah, yeah definitely um, no I don't think they were trying they, they were just they were they were trying to appeal to a broad, too broad of a spectrum. They thought that maybe they thought that the that the that the, the old people was going to be cool with this. You know what I mean? Like, and then they just realized, like, once the game came out, like, nah, ain't nothing but negativity in, in the in the community right now. So, um, it's, well, I've noticed that like completely. Like, like when's the last time? that a triple-A studio game has come out and everybody has just been kind of, like, all over it. Pretty much, games have looked... God of War. Well, yeah. But I, I've, I've kind of, like, had, like, kind of a blackout on the PlayStation exclusives just because I haven't played them. I need to go back and play them, but I haven't bought a, um... Sixty dollar, like right out of the gate, title in a long time, because I didn't even really pay for Red Dead Redemption Two. That was on trade ins of shit that I never played. I bought, I bought this brand new. I, I hesitated on Red Dead, and I'm glad I did. Um, but I bought this brand new, um, and I, it's so it's been like a lot of fun. Now the only problem is like. Um, like some of the people that I would be playing with, like you and Blue and stuff like that, y'all have it on PC, and I'm and I didn't want, I didn't want to spend my whole experience sitting right here. Right, like that was that was my thing. I just didn't want to be sitting here for the experience. But my cousin is all about it, uh, and like he plays way more than I do, uh, and so like he's been level thirty for like a week already, mm-hmm. um, and like. So like, but the cool thing about it is like when you get matched with someone that's not your level, uh, you, even if they join your thing, they raise you to that person's level or like one level under it. And like, and and it just still works so well because it has like your level. So like, right as of right now, I'm like a 24 or 25, somewhere around there. I am close. I'm getting close to my 30, but, um, but it'll say like twenty, like it'll say like if I'm a fifteen, it'll say it'll say my normal level fifteen. But it puts a little symbol in the corner that says like but we're acting like you're twenty nine right now. There was something else that did that. I can't remember what that was because when people were talking about that, there was something else that did that. Dead, Is- Island, Dead Island did it. Um, Dead, I, I know, I know for a fact Dead Island did it, but. The the weird thing the weird thing about Dead Island was it didn't necessarily do it the same way, but what it was is like if if me like me me and Scott played a lot of Dead Island together and like so like we are both looking at the same enemy but we are looking at the enemy that's on each of our levels if we were not on the same level so like if I'm a level ten and he's a level five I'm looking at it and he's a ten to me but he's a five to you and he still reacts. As if he is our level. Well, there was a game to where, like, your stuff would be, like, yellow while you're with the other guy. And it would be, like, kind of a temporary level boost. There was something else. I don't know if that was Diablo or not, but there was something. No, no, Diablo Diablo doesn't scale like that, especially not in the rifts. That's the reason why I got boosted up a lot, you know, playing the game with Def on Xbox, because he would be like, we would put us, he would put us in a rift and like, it'll be like a torment, whatever the fuck level rift. And he'd just be like, yeah, just stay back here. And then we'll stay back there. And then all of a sudden our levels are just popping. Mm-hmm. And like we're getting, we're like opening up all kinds of shit because he's so far ahead of us, and he's just blazing through all of this stuff. And 
So it was just kind of cool. Um, but like this, it actually like it it actually really works. And then the um the automatically leveling off, I can't remember what they call it in the dark zone. Like I actually played some dark zone. Hmm. Like and it was like and the thing about the dark zone is um uh, they also scaled down the number of people that are in one dark zone. So like I didn't really see a whole lot of like real people in the dark zone this time. Uh but we you know we did go to the areas and then we killed the 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 NPC characters in the dark zone and you know we did see if uh if fight against a few regular people because in order to get the really good stuff like you gotta go rogue um like and you just walk up to this like console on the wall and you just press it and you can make yourself rogue um and like that was like super fun i'm like a and i'm like a level 13 in the dark zone which was like if like the dark zone is like super fun and i had no fun in the dark zone previously Right. Because because the dark zone was like a kind of a like at your own risk type situation and whatever you went in there with, it has it was, you know, like, all right, you want to hear with this level twenty stuff, good luck. You know what I mean? Like and I think that they I think they're gonna change one of the dark zones or something like that to be on that level where it's you know, you go in and with with whatever you have. But I like this uh, version of the dark zone where everybody is pretty much on equal footing. Uh, it, it has worked out a whole lot better for me. Now I have no, I have no cares about playing PVP at all. So like the conquest stuff, I don't care about at all. Um, but I'm, I'm like super enjoying this game. It's just really hard to play the by yourself. If you're by yourself, you're just gonna die. Even if you're, even if the the people that you're fighting are are a lower level than you, like in most cases, you're still gonna die, right? If you're by yourself, so <laughs> so that's been really cool. Like I even had like um um people just just on my friends list, people that I haven't gamed with like ever, uh, but you know, I, I on the 360, I had a full friends list because the podcast or whatever, uh, people would just send me friend requests. So there's people that I don't remember ever really talking and talking to that'll see me out there on the division because, oh yeah, I appear online, um, <laughs> like during this week, uh, and they'll be like, Hey, can I play? And I'd be like, yeah, come on in. Like you can come on in and play and we're, you're just as the, you're just as welcome in whatever level you are. You can still do the same things that we do, which is kind of cool. I, I dig that a lot. Yeah. So I'm just, I'm just kind of working, working towards the end game right now. Um, I would love, I would love to be able to play anything else and I would love to be able to do anything else. Cause like I said, I haven't been painting or anything like that either. Um, but like it's been like when I have a free moment, I try to get some division in because I really would like to be a, a, a level thirty and try to get some. Uh, I I really want to do the grinding part, which is weird for me to say because I that's usually the part where I just kind of bow out. Like I get to whatever the max level is, and once you start going by your gear score, your light level, or whatever the fuck you want to call it, I'm usually out. And no, nah, I think I think I might try to see what I can do here. And then, like, since my cousin is, like, a much higher level than me, like, he just drops a ton of gear for me. So, like, I keep having to put stuff in my stash because I got, like, level 28 through 30 stuff that I can't touch anytime soon. Right. And I have all kinds of stuff. It's really – I just I just find it to be – it's it's so much fun. It's a challenge, but it's still worthy of playing. Um, I will say – there's a there's a glitch that they just did a patch and they didn't fix this glitch. Here goes. You know the um the little the little seeker mine? Yeah. Seeker mine? The, yeah. yeah. Um the one that actually breaks into smaller seeker mines and go and finds people and just kind of blows up. Uh-huh. There is there is currently a glitch to where is the part where it pops into the smaller pieces. If you tap the button, the shoulder, whichever shoulder button it is to act to that you use to activate that, if you tap it more like if you're using like a, a single shot rifle, 
that 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 kind of like tap 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 type thing um if you do that the minds keep coming out when it splits if you catch it at the right time you can do that about six or seven times and it just fucking wrecks a whole area hmm. they 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 put out a patch and they did not patch that out yet so fuck yeah man use that shit while you can nice yeah so what so what do you have going man i um I, I actually haven't played the division in a little bit. Um, but when I had, I need to find some people to play with because most people are on with you on the consoles or um, like Blue and a couple other guys. I just haven't had time to like figure out when we can play. You know what I mean? And I know Holy Headshot is on there, and I and I know AC Rocks like got it on the Xbox and the PC. But I don't know if he's actually played it on the PC yet. Right. But um, I would I I would be willing I would be willing to inquire about a PlayStation version. I still do not want to play a game that I'm going to put that amount of time into sitting here. Even if I do the fucking uh the 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 little Steam Link thing, I don't want to do that. Like not for this. Like I just do a Steam Link on your phone. It, play the vision on your phone. No, no I'm good. <laughs> I can't. I can't do that. I do have. I did. Well, I don't know where it is, but I do have one of those cables where you can plug in a wired controller to your phone. It's one of those things that plugs in the bottom of your phone, and then you plug your. Well, USB you can. You it. can. You can do a. Um, a Xbox One controller to your phone, just Bluetooth. It's a Bluetooth device. Yeah, but I don't want to do that. Uh, actually, the Witcher Collins work too. Um, as I understand it, the Switch, uh, the the Switch Joy Cons work through regular old Bluetooth too. Hmm. For your phone or your or your PC. That's cool. Yeah. Um, Never did figure out how to get the Bluetooth to work on my PC. Yeah, I, I don't have Bluetooth on my PC. I'd, I'd have to get a dongle, a little dongle to hang off my PC. But um, <laughs> I uh, so I um, I did mod Half Life Two, and Jesus Christ, that shit looks fucking good, and plays like how it plays is like greatness, like. Because they really like changed how the um, guns play and the guns sound. That like it has like hit markers and like what is it called? Aptic feedback, where you like because before it was older. It was before Call of Duty and stuff, so it's a little floatier. But they really grounded it. Aptic feedback. I forgot you eat your H's. It's haptic feedback. Well, I was actually um, not eating my H. Then I was trying to think of the word. <laughs> But um, okay. but yeah, like so it's called an M mod, like two M's mod, but it it's really it's really good. So it's kind of the mod. Yeah, it's the mod. But the only thing here's the thing. I, at first, I was like, should I support this shit? But they cut ties with this dude. Hey, okay, here's the thing. There's this dude who's like an edge lord of edge lords, I guess. Like he. Like, sometimes you're like, people, you know, can take a joke, right? But sometimes a joke just isn't funny. Sometimes it's, there, there is a, such a thing as a, uh, what you call it, a, um, tasteless joke, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yes. Um, well, he was joking about the New Zealand shooter. Like, something about that, you, you know, that he, like, supported it or something. But, um, and then he went so far as to take the shooting sounds of the shooter and putting those sounds of his rifle into the mod. Okay. So, and people were, like, kind of open arms about that. You know what I mean? And I was like, yeah, that's kind of fucked up. Like, I mean, I, I understand sometimes people are going to get their fucking shits anywhere, you know, you know, but if it's in war or whatever, or like from, but most of the time they shoot weapons 
and get them in a not like some crazy guy shooting actual people you know what I mean <laughs> in your video games I mean I wouldn't I, I mean maybe there's a game out there that has like fucking column of mine guns in it or something but I don't want to know about it <laughs> you know so but that guy um, after all the shit that went on with him he ended up quitting and they have cut ties with him like the modders the mod team or whatever so okay. the the um the the New Zealand shooter guns are not in the game. That was just a big, like edgy joke that he was making. But it's also just not really that funny. Like, okay, you um you're just trying to get out for attention, dude. But yeah. So yeah, that that was weird. I don't. But, I, don't I just don't understand. I don't understand. People just want to be famous so bad that they'll just do shit just to be infamous and they just confuse the two. Like being infamous is like nothing you really want to be, dog. Like what's I'm I i do not know. I can't I'm I'm not gonna go that much further into it, but like people confuse fame and infamy these days. Like, yeah, like you think that you're doing something clever by trying to big up somebody who killed a bunch of people. Like, what the fuck's wrong with you? Yeah, and people just like like you'll hear about someone famous like a YouTuber or something like getting a lot of hate for something they said and then people were like, Oh, freedom of speech. I'm like, you know, right now, if me or you went on Facebook and started spouting some freaking crazy ass fucking shit, we could lose our jobs. That's fucking real life. Like and, and freedom of speech, like people t- do that for whole freedom of speech, and I know what I've know I've said this a million times before. Freedom of speech only protects you from speaking out against the government. It does not protect you from dumb shit you say on your own. Right, and, and just because you're free to say it, it doesn't mean that you're free from what happens to you after. Right. Fucking stupid. Yeah, because there's freedom of speech, and then there's the freedom of me pressing my fist against the, up, up against your face. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's that's, that's what the freedom of press is. <laughs> <laughs> pressing my fist against your face for saying something stupid. Your <laughs> face really fast. Yeah. <laughs> that is the show title: Freedom of the Press. Yeah, that's gonna happen. If but. If I can figure out which tab, because you know I always have like a million tabs open. Yeah, I also um went back and started. You know the Call of War has games. They're like Western I've games, heard. but they're like. But um, I've heard of them. Yeah, I played like the not the first one, but the first one that kind of got some traction, which was Bound in Blood, and uh, there's parts in it where I'm like. This game doesn't really have the right to look this pretty. Like, there's some things you're like, yeah, it looks like a game from 2009. But every now and again, you're like, like some sort of sunset or just some sort of scene with like a bunch of vegetation. You're like, okay, why didn't they make the rest of the game like look this freaking detailed? Like, what the hell? <laughs> but um, the the other thing is like, you start out and you're a Confederate soldier. Oh, I'm out. <laughs> But um, something happens and you fucking desert, and then because you're like, that's so how I just stop playing World at War. I like playing the multiplayer World at War, but like when they make you play as the Nazis, I'm just like, <laughs> nah, I can't do that. Like, I like it's it's weird, like being on the being on the team and they just make you the Nazi team and like you're actually you're actively trying to win as the Nazis and you're just kind of like, I can't, I don't know if I can do this. Like this shit don't even feel right in my soul right now. I know it's just a multiplayer game, but like trying to win as a Nazi does not feel right to me. Right. No, I'm sorry, I, I cut you off, dude. But 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 yeah, like they desert and stuff. So they, but they're like, you know, just little into all this shit, you know. So they're uh, so it's not so bad, but but it, it did feel a little weird. You're like, huh. Never really known much games to be like, yo, you're a Confederate soldier. I don't even know many games that's like Civil War games. 
You know, this see that here's the thing, like it's hard to do a civil war game because like depending on which side you're on, like you can point to like who was the greater evil, which is the reason why World War Two is the most popular war to do something or to do a game on, because there was a clear and present evil there. Like we know where the evilness came from. There is a line and we all understand where that line was as opposed to like other other wars like the war in the Middle East, like you know, like the the bad the bad people don't have a uniform. You know what I mean? Like so like we, while we're calling them bad, uh like you know, it's easy for the you know some people to see them as just people trying to take up for themselves mm-hmm. and like when you know during World War Two like it's clear is there's a clear line Nazis bad anybody cool with the Nazis bad so like that's a that's that's the reason why there's so many World War Two games and the reason why they keep coming back to it because you have a clear and present danger that you can build your game around. But itself for 2019, it's like Nazis. Mm. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm not wrong. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm about an hour away from Charlottesville, though. Like, yeah. <laughs> I just, I just suck that the, it just sucks that the, that the whole Charlottesville thing had to happen here. Like, like, bruh, like Virginia for the last little bit is we're just taking so many L's. It's not even funny, man. I, but like, the Charlottesville I, thing couldn't happen anywhere but Charlottesville because then it wouldn't be Charlottesville. Right, but you know what the <laughs> fuck I meant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody got like some. You just you, you wish it was like Birmingham or some shit. <laughs> Not necessarily Birmingham. Like I don't want it to be like Bur- Birmingham. Like whatever the small town is near Birmingham. Like okay, like if y'all did it there, like I can understand it more. Of uh, like like not a major metropolitan area in the south type thing. Like, right. You know, if it was fucking like Coonville or some bullshit like that. Like, <laughs> really. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, you'll be like, all right, man. They call the place Coonville. Like, like, what is what exactly are we doing here? <laughs> but like, just like, I just moved up here. Like, I hadn't even been here that long, and like, Charlottesville was just kind of like a, hey, we might want to try to go to Charlottesville. Like, it seemed like a cool thing. And like, you know, the University of Virginia is there, and all that other stuff. Like, it seemed kind of cool. And nah, we good. I, I never like there's a place there's a place um do, do, like in that way in that you know that that area of the of the of the state or whatever and you want to know it's a place that I will never ever ever go to just because of the name now supposedly this place is in the Shenandoah Valley it is very beautiful you can go you can get you a little cabin and spend some time there with your loved ones and have a great fucking time but I will never go there because of the name of the place what is it the place is called Massanutten <laughs> The place is literally called Massa Nutten. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> I mean, it's called Massa Nutten. Like, are you fucking serious? This place is called Massa Nutten. Just um, just put an eight between there, and then then you'd be like, it's, just chant yeah, that. But, but look, think about this. All right, so hold on. I'm I'm gonna check my facts. Uh huh. Before I say this, on the fax machine. Before, I, before I, before I do this. Um, okay, so I know that Thomas Jefferson is from like that area, and we know that um, that Thomas Jefferson was kind of on the black, the, the, was on the slaves like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Is it called Mass Nothing because of Thomas Jefferson? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. 
it seems like a thing because you know like you know like there's there's like a lot of like black descendants of Thomas Jefferson right now because he was out here on them slaves like that. <laughs> is there a mass? Is there is there a mass of nothing because of Thomas Jefferson? Because he's from that area, you know what I'm saying? It kind of makes sense, right? Yeah, it makes a whole lot of sense now. I don't know why. I've, why I never thought of that before, but mass of nothing is all because Thomas Jefferson. Have you ever seen that? Uh, was it the Chappelle show skit about the? Uh, so, well, no, it. Um, no, it was a, a Key and Peele skit about doing those um, about uh, about doing those DNA tests for like black people, mm-hmm. and, and it was just like, oh, I'm related to Thomas Jefferson, like Thomas motherfucking Jefferson, like they and they was they were all related to Thomas Jefferson because you know that was a thing. <laughs> I'm gonna be quiet. I'm gonna be quiet. Now. I kind of, you know, like they always say that if you have to explain the joke, it's not really like. But like, if you hadn't seen it, like there was no other way for you to like really know this. All right, so I'm gonna look up Mass of Nothing and see. I looked up. Um, is I, I looked up where? Okay, Mass of Nothing is north of Charlottesville. Because Thomas Jefferson was from that area, so like, did Thomas Jefferson spend some time up there? Like, I'm I'm really like on this right now. Like, I'm gonna find this out. I think I think this I think that's the name of a place because of Thomas Jefferson. You gonna like get your red string, start like putting on a map and shit? I think so. That's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> because like, say, oh, hold on, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna check out one more thing. I saw where he was from. I'm trying to see where he died and how close it is to to, to Mass and Nutton. Okay, Mass and Nutton is still north. It's still north. Okay. <laughs> we got it. So I think that's I think that's what happened. But yeah, that's a place that I that I will never, ever, ever in life ever go. Like if, if like if I'm like traveling that part of the 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 state and I run out of gas, I'm turning around. I'm not stopping in Mass and Nutton, dog. <laughs> I just, I just can't, I just can't do that to myself. I know that I just kind of took everything off on a tangent, and I apologize, and we probably should wrap this up. But um, that's just not something that I could ever do. Like the place is called Mass of Nothing. Think about that. They named a city off of an act. Yeah. That Thomas Jefferson did quite often. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so before we wrap this up, you got some you got something else? No, I think I'm good, man. I didn't really okay, here's the whole thing about the mass of nothing thing. I didn't really want to end on the Nazi thing. Yeah. You know, I didn't really want to end on that, so I kind of took us off and then I ended up staying there a little too long. Uh, for for those who are listening, I apologize. Maybe Chase will trim that up a little bit. Um but if he doesn't, I apologize for taking you off on that tangent. Um because I didn't want to end on the Nazi thing. Like that just didn't I didn't really want to be about that one. Um so well, we're back. free spirits now, so we're not like sticking to are, no like Are we? Yeah. We're not like sticking to no like hey we we gotta talk about this. We we still haven't really trained Sam on that yet. He's still like, Oh, what what are we moving on to? And I'm like, hey man, we ain't gotta move on to nothing. We can just like talk about whatever. You know, but yeah. Uh, when are we gonna do our vape show? We have to do a vape show because I got too much vape stuff that I need to talk about. Um, we could do it whenever you want to, man. I mean, we, no, we we could, we should do a show from that town that you were talking about. We, the vape we show. Do- <laughs> we're not doing the vape show in Massachusetts. <laughs> But you would think after Mass of Nuts, like, he would probably want to hit a vapor, too. You know, kind of. You know, because we, we don't do smoking no more. We're not, we off that. Yeah. But, yeah, I think we should do a vape show. I'm not sure exactly how. Um, because, see, here's the thing that I'm, that I'm, that I was wondering about the vape show. And, like, people, y- y'all could be a part of this. If y'all think something about it, um, y'all holler at your boys. 
I have like a bunch of different like new juices and stuff that I've tried, new e-juice that I've tried. And I don't know whether I want to do it in like a podcast form where we just talk about kind of everything in one shot or a few things in one shot, or should we record a series of like individual videos where we just, where we try something and, or something like that? Well, if we did it like in podcast form, I don't think it should ever be in audio format because I don't think it'll translate that well because we're going to be showing stuff and looking at stuff. It, you know, just have it on the YouTube and that's it not make it in the audio because because even if someone is interested in vaping and stuff I think it'd be hard to listen to a podcast about vaping because it's very visual you know what I mean you're you're like talking about a a, a mod and saying how it like performs or whatever you, you can't hear it <laughs> you got us you know so you're, you're all like um silent and shit. Oh, I forgot. I me- I typically mute my mic on this show when I vape. Yeah. So I, while you were talking, I was vaping, and then I realized I didn't realize that I was still muted until you said it. So, um, but I think that's a cool idea. I think we should do a video show, um, where we talk about vape stuff because I got a ton of stuff I want to talk about, um, and. Like and then like the 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 process in which all of my coworkers are kind of switching, like they blame me for it, but like I didn't really do anything. I just like I started working there and I vaped, and like yeah, they, yeah, they just were like, wait a minute, I hear bad things about this stuff, but how could it be so bad when I smell like fucking cigarettes and he smells like fruity pebbles? Like what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> You guys smell fruity? Why? Actually, actually, I do right now because I'm vaping a uh, chilled watermelon remix and it is greatness. Nice. It is greatness. But oh man, I got some stuff that I've tried. There's this one that is a um that is a peach cobbler. And I love it so much. It's so good. So good. And I started ordering from a bunch of different places. Um, I've ordered, I've, uh, you know, I've ordered the Nord. I ordered a new tank. I ordered a Novo that I ended up selling. Um, and I'm going to get another, I'm, I'm going to buy something else. Um, so like all of this stuff is happening and it's really exciting. And I don't really want to waste anybody else's time with this because we should, we should work on our vape show. We got to figure out a day and a time and how to get the vape show out there to the people. The people need this. Anything you got got left to say? Um, Nope. Okay. Well, thank you to everyone who is uh, checking us out right now or everyone who is uh, will check out the video or uh, the show on the feed later. Uh, We appreciate you being around. Uh, We appreciate you uh, giving Sherry and Rob a listen on the new version of Casual Conversation. Uh, That's going to be on going, uh, changing, improving situation. Uh, and we're glad that y'all got in for the, the first episode of hopefully many. Um, but we, you know, there's a, we working, uh, we're trying to make sure that we get that, that right. And, um, so, and go and check out the Digicast and, um, yeah, man. So just thank y'all for, 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 for doing everything that you do. Just, you know, going out there and doing the things. We appreciate y'all in, in every way, shape, or form that we can. Um, you know, sometimes we don't really quite feel up to this, but like once we get here and we do this and we're doing it for y'all, it makes, it makes us feel good to be able to do this for y'all. So thank you very much. Um, peace out to the warriors. Um, and, um, you know, Rest in peace to my man Jay Bird and my man Big Boy. I'm trying to figure out how I can tie all of that in to the closing of the show, but I'm, I'm gonna figure that out. So, peace out to the Warriors, and we're out of here. Until next time, this is Scarcasm for Chase. I'm Scarfinger. Scarcasm out of here. Yo. Later. I like that shit, yeah, boy. I'm telling you, whoa. I'm telling. All right, I ain't gonna talk.
Should I cut it off now? Should there be an extra like little thing after the podcast? Yeah, unless, unless you got something else you want to talk about, I think, I, you know what? Other other than when I ground the show to a screeching halt, like I thought it was an all right show for the for like what we really had to talk about. Yeah, and now I have to mute my microphone no more because fuck this part of the show. <laughs> Not necessarily fuck this part of the show, but like this is the part where you know we just kind of chill for a few minutes and just kind of exhale. Yeah, and I, and I thought it was kind of a cool little um, cool little flow of the show last time to where like after the music we kind of come back for a little after show, you know, kind of. <laughs> so yeah, it's, I mean, it's I mean, I never listened to the show. I mean, I never listen to any of these shows. Um, I don't listen. To, I don't get a chance to listen to a whole lot of podcasts anyway. Um, yeah. So it's, it's just really difficult for me to do at this point. Um, so, so you're like, if I can't listen to ADG, I'm definitely not listening to that freaking Scarcasm. Yeah, there, there's times where I can catch up, but like, luck, luckily for me, like they, you know, they release episodes like biannually um so like edg <laughs> kind of works out for your boy because you know like this is like edg quarterly and shit right now so like it works out but like here's the thing when they release the show every quarter uh by the time i get to listen to it it's already old so like i can't really comment on anything because like it's been like it's been like six months since I listened to the show, like I listened to the show when they released like the second episode in six months. Um, so I go back and listen to the first one and be like, Oh yeah, they talked about this already. Um, and then, but it'd be like, all right, but like this shit came out in like January. It's like, man, fuck, I can't even comment on this because it doesn't make sense to comment on something that's like months old at this point. Yeah. Cause you'd be like, I see you. You played that thing too on lunch. I see you. <laughs> yeah. uh, um, but I did I did try I do try uh to catch uh Angry Mailman close to launch. Like I try to get it at some point in the first week. Now when I was playing a lot of NBA live uh, it made it so that I can listen to a lot of podcasts while I'm doing that because I don't miss, I don't really need to listen to what's happening, uh, on the screen for the division. You need to because like people be walking up on you, like you can hear their footsteps and all kinds of shit. The sound design in the division is fucking dope. Yeah. Yeah. Like the sound design is really dope. I even watched a video about the sound design. I'm like all about the division right now. It's, it's bad. Like it's so bad. Yeah, I noticed how the guns felt weightier to me. Yes. Than than in the first game. <clears throat> yeah, I, I I'm just it's just all around an improvement and like it's like I said, it sucks to say, but like finally we got a finished game. Not necessarily a finished, but like a complete game at launch. Right. And that's kind of Ubisoft thing, though. Like, pretty much every franchise of theirs, like, the first game was kind of a tester. Like, does anybody ever talk about Far Cry 1? No, because it freaking sucked. Does anybody talk about Assassin's Creed 1? Maybe the people that are super hardcore, but most people don't freaking talk about that fucking game. It wasn't very good. (laughs) Blue loves Assassin's Creed. Like, loves Assassin's Creed. I don't even know if he finished one. I finished one. I finished one. I ain't gonna lie. I did finish one, and I have barely touched an Assassin's Creed since, even though I own at least five. And then, same with The Division. Um, You know, they'll... They always come back swinging with two. Freaking Watch Dogs was terrible. But Watch Dogs 2, I've heard, was pretty good. Yeah. What do you mean you heard? So you haven't played yours either? No, because I was waiting on you. So you wouldn't even play the game by yourself. You just wanted to play the game with me. I just, there's certain games I'm like, yeah, this game would be more fun with somebody else. I mean, at some point, I guess we'll get to it. I just. As of right now, it's all division everything. I played a little bit of live, but nothing really worth talking about. I played, I started a new character and like my character got drafted by the Hornets. 
Did I, I talked about this last week, right? Yeah. So now, so now I play for the Suns. I, I changed my. I asked for a trade, and I, I play for the Suns, and that that's going pretty well. Um, and then my and then my original character uh, uh, plays for the uh, plays for the Knicks now, which is kind of cool. I, I really dig that a lot. Um, but I, I haven't really done a whole lot. I did buy it for the PlayStation because, like, you can buy fucking you can buy NBA Live right now for like six bucks, maybe even cheaper on like Xbox and PlayStation. It's like six dollars. So, like, if you even have like an inkling of like a thing where you kind of wonder like what a basketball game would be, uh, of what and, and like even from like the basketball RPG standpoint. Like it's six fucking dollars, man. Like where the fuck can you buy a full ass game for six dollars? Steam, <laughs> Steam keys. <laughs> nah, like no, I'm talking. I'm talking about like, that's like some like, you know, that's that's different. Yeah. <laughs> Especially on console, like, can you really buy most console games? Like even heavily, even when it has like discounted, do you ever see like full full releases at six dollars? No, like they'll go down to like maybe fifteen, maybe like twenty. Right. So that's it's crazy. Yeah. Well you wanna get out of here, man? Yeah, I think we can go ahead and wrap this up. I'm going to try not to spend the rest of my time as um uh playing a division tonight. Because I played to like three o'clock in the morning last night. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I, I really, I really wish we would have gotten, uh, we would have gotten it on the same platform because this would have been fun to play together and with people. Yeah. yeah. I d- I do want to finish Division One at some point if we can just like mainline the story, just well, so I can say I finished it. You can't really just mainline the story because it's. Okay. Like a lot of those story, like you got to be the right level, and then like they make you do some of the side activities so you can be the same level as the mainline story. Well, I mean, whatever we have to do. Yeah. All right. I'm 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 down. You just gotta let me know when. Cool. All right, dog. All right, man. Peace, brother. Later.